Grace, mercy, forgiveness, and obedience are completely separate. This is something that the Lord wants me to talk to you all today about. Something as Christians we have always mistaken. Grace, mercy, and obedience. And then you become a complete doormat. People walk all over you. They do what they need. They, they do all types of things to you. And then you, you put that into me long suffering <laughs> and patience and kindness and goodness. Amazingly, Jesus exhibited all those fruits of the spirit. He walked in it all. But nowhere, if you read the word of God, you will not see what Jesus was a pushover. Jesus spoke out. Jesus corrected people. He knew how to set those clear delineations. And the spirit of God, who we will all stand before at the end of time, at the end of this world, he is also... He is, the, he is the ultimate example of the fruits of the Spirit. And at the same time, he's going to say, depart from me. Because making those tough decisions, making those hard choices, making those blunt decisions, final and definite decisions, is all a part of walking in the Spirit. So, yes, you're supposed to have grace and mercy and kindness. Yes. But what the Lord is also saying, there is also obedience. And one has nothing to do with the other. You can show grace and kindness and mercy because God will allow you to do that with a person, an individual, a situation. Because that is what you're supposed to do. This keeps you from becoming hardened. It, it causes you from becoming contaminated. It causes you to grow more in the spirit of God. It causes you to be able to show that person they will exhibit that no matter what they have done, you continue to walk in the spirit of God. But it is not for you to be in a place where that person continues to pour into you dark, demonic seeds that you have to be fighting off in the spirit. This is not it. This is an unnecessary and obsolete battle that you should not be going through. But guys, what the Lord spoke to my spirit to tell y'all is when he tells you to step away from something, step away from it. Obeying the Lord is more important. You see, what happens is people end up becoming damaged and hurt and tainted and, and broken in relationships, whether it's platonic, whether it's intimate, whether it's an organ, organizational type of thing socially, because Many times you disobey the Lord when he's shown you something about a person, when he's warned you about a person, you continue to go in under grace and obedience, no grace and mercy and forgiveness. And you have it all wrong. It's been perverted by the enemy. It is completely um, uh, imbalanced and you end up becoming hurt. So yeah. So what God is saying is, Grace and mercy and forgiveness, yes, it is necessary. But the Lord is saying, when I tell you to step away from something, then obedience trumps it all, okay? That means obedience overshadows that. Not <laughs> how, do I, how do I put this, Lord? Because I don't want to mix up your words. Grace, mercy, obedience, forgiveness. It is all a part of the essence and the fruits of the Spirit. But when God tells you to let go of something, when God tells you and he shows you this is not good for you, when God tells you step back, then obedience is the first go-to. Stop over overriding this, stop or overriding obedience to God. And like, I'm going to walk in grace and mercy to stay in a relationship. I'm going to walk in grace and mercy and keep letting this people be, this person be around me. I'm going to walk in grace and mercy and forgiveness so that, you know, I'll stay here in this ministry because then you're walking in disobedience with totally, which totally, um, wipes clean and makes all those other things null and void. In everything, there is wisdom. You know what people don't add to forgiveness, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you know what people don't add to grace and mercy? Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment. That's another thing that you don't add. If you read Proverbs, you see 
where forgiveness and mercy and grace does not give you the room to walk into and sit around with the man who's quick to shed blood, the person who's angry in their spirit, the, uh, the, 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 the woman who is led by her flesh, loud mouth. It tell, no, ma'am. No, sir. So what God is saying, when he tells you to do something, don't try to pull the obedience. <laughs> don't try to pull the forgiveness and the grace card and all these things because you want to stay laid up with Leroy. You want to stay with someone that's cheating on you and doing you wrong. You want to stay in this church where they are hampering your walk in the Lord. The pastor's wife got a problem with you. The pastor got a problem with you. The praise team's arguing with you. Something's going on. Oh, they took your song off the program. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is insane. <laughs> and you giving them your money? Come on now. Stop. Stop. Forgot where I got that from. So guys, the Lord is saying, he's giving you all these fruits of the spirit. But there's still something called wisdom and balance. And when he tells you to do something, when he tells you to do something, when he tells you to move, when he tells you to end this, when he tells you it's time to go, obey him. Obey him. Obedience is better than sacrifice. All right? Bye, guys.